Jess Mishani here with Clarina Cravens. We're in the Healthy Living Learning Center, and today we're doing a little something different, more of a home remedy. That's right, so we are actually not really cooking today. We're making fire cider, and mm -hmm. fire cider is just a tincture. Um, it's a mixture of a variety of different homeopathic ingredients that okay. help to keep you well. So this is also a really nice gift because it retails for a lot, but to make it, I think all of these ingredients were under $30, probably closer to $20. I'm going to have you start by grating this root of fresh horseradish. Skin on is fine. We're going to be straining all of it. I just grate that up. We're going for a half of a cup. Apparently I need bigger muscles for this. So while she does that, I'm going to get going on some ginger. So same thing. We're just trying to grate this to release some of those flavors, get the juices flowing. Like if you don't have a grater or something at home, you can just chop them up. So we've got the ginger. We've got our horseradish. Okay. I'm going to take my jalapenos. Slice them into some nice rings. Is it a habanero? It is. Chop this bad boy in half. Our citrus. So okay. one orange. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. So chopping up our lemon. This really is timely with flu season. Order this guy up. And then I have a bunch of garlic cloves here. And I just want to give each of them a nice crush. Okay. So I'm gonna put gloves on. Um, you don't have to, but turmeric likes to stain. It's very bright in color, so if you don't want orange hands, and I'm just gonna grate this as well. How much uh, turmeric are you putting in there? We're gonna do half of a cup, so quite a bit. Okay, so in here, okay. we have all of our ingredients. Yes. Not exactly sure volume-wise how much space this is gonna fill. It's not an exact recipe. One onion might be larger than another. Your garlic cloves might be larger, and it's okay. The only thing we really need to know is we want some of everything in each jar. Gotcha. And the beauty is, is if you don't have them like perfectly distributed, mm -hmm. once you strain it all in the end, it's gonna get all mixed back together. So you can mix it all up before okay. you portion it out, so they're all the same. Nice. So that's pretty perfect. Yeah. Thought it would be three jars, but if you go home and it's more or less, don't worry about it. You just kind of want to fill your jars up as much as possible. Ooh. We're gonna distribute this honey throughout these jars. We have a third a cup of honey in total. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour in vinegar and it's gonna fill in all those gaps. Okay. Go nice and slow because it's gonna take them a little bit for the liquid to kind of move through all of those pockets of air. It smells really good. You know what's fun to do with this is you can make salad dressings with it. Just leave a tiny bit of space. Like how that one is, it's perfect. There we go. We're gonna put lids on them. And again, no typical canning. Nope, there's tons of acid in here. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna put these on our counter. We're just gonna try to remember to flip them once a day. If you forget, it's not the end of the world, but just as you remember, try to give them a flip. These are gonna sit for about three to six weeks, and then you're just gonna strain it. You can bottle it up and keep it for years. Really? Yes. This is a great holiday gift, so it's actually medicinal. Um, mm. Kind of different, different than like your usual canned goods. Excellent. Yeah, and you only need to give people like four ounces or so. They don't need a lot. So in preparation for flu season or to give a really great gift for the holidays, cheers to your health. Woo! <laughs> this has been Vanessa and Karina in the kitchen.